Greetings, Council Members and Commissioners, and thanks for taking four and a half minutes to review the Big River Foundation's efforts to tackle what must be Laredo's greatest challenge, which is to say, we're really not in the kayak business, we're in the demonstrating that Laredo is safe business. With your assistance, every one of our Riverside projects reminds the world that there's more to Laredo than you heard on the news. Our projects are inspired by the experience of New York City in the late 70s when it was the murder capital of the nation. It was also a time when Korean families began opening 24-hour markets all over the city. The presence of lights at all hours provided a sense of safety and attracted more business. Legal activity displaced illegal activity and was part of a renaissance that continues to this day. Of course, kayaking is just one way to shine a similar light on Laredo. Fishing, cycling, bird watching, and trail running are all inexpensive to participate in with appeal to residents and visitors alike. They all take advantage of our year-round warm weather, use materials or infrastructure that is existing or free, and have the additional spin-off benefit of addressing educational and public health challenges. We went after all those markets this past year, and thanks to city support, began the process of changing people's associations with the border from images like this to images like this. Perhaps because it is so contrary to people's expectations, our activities resonate in the news. Last year, that included local stories to promote Laredo's Rio Fest and three articles in Canoe and Kayak magazine, one about the annual race, and two about our international caravan to the Gran Regatta of the Rio Nasas with the Gateway City as rally point. Houston's Tommy Yonley won first place in $2,000, boating well for more kayakers in next summer's caravan. Following up on kayaking, we began looking at the larger markets of cycling, hiking, running, and environmental education. We piloted programs for all of them. We brought school groups and media attention to Lago del Rio and the Lost Lakes, demonstrating that wonderful educational field trips are right downtown. We used our own grant money from Texas Parks and Wildlife to stock fish, introduce kids to bird watching, and led the entire LISDPE staff on a two-mile hike to prepare them to be chaperones for TEKS-based nature lessons we offered to the entire LISD fifth grade. For older students, we provided service learning opportunities. We led multiple cleanups with the new non-traditional high school and purchased materials for Martin's welding class to build a kayak trailer and their future Farmers of America to build our dock for binational events. For those not in school, we hosted three months of something we called healthy living lessons twice a week to attract people to the river. We bought produce with our grant money and got local restaurants to serve it up as a reward for joining us on foot or bicycle. Realizing that many people owned bikes they hadn't ridden in years, we used grant money to purchase parts, which volunteers from Cyclomania and the Laredo PD and Border Patrol installed at three free public repair clinics. To give people a place to use their new bikes, we piloted a program which gave Webb County probationers a chance to give back to the community by clearing trails for hiking and biking and turning this Carrizo-filled drainage ditch into an aquatheater that on December 21st became the home of Laredo's first ever binational posada. Which brings us to the present. Since the posada, the IBWC has extended our permit to allow music and cultural events we've planned for the remainder of the year. We furthermore propose creating the quarter mile long Tex-Mex jogging trail linking the Aqua Theater to the nation's oldest international trestle at the entrance to Riverbend Park. Webb County probationers and Tamiyu criminal justice interns will provide the labor using city mulch, donated railroad ties, and native trees to turn what now looks like this into this. With renewed funding, we can build the new trail in time to partner with the city of Nuevo Laredo and help them grow the June 17th Fundadores run into an event that captures national headlines and which eventually challenges Edinburgh's 7,000-person 10K to be the biggest running event south of San Antonio. It'll be the latest, greatest Laredo event to reform what the nation thinks about when they think about the border.